Lest we forget. Lest we forget is in making a commitment that you go to the ceremony every year and remember what's taking place, but you make a commitment ongoing. It's not just Anzac Day that we make a commitment to make sure that we keep an eye and we do whatever we can to support the, the ADF and the many functions it serves, but also for the ADF community. That was Jeff Pinney from the National Military Vehicle Museum, ahead of this year's Anzac commemorations. Jeff served 17 years on the 3rd 9th Light Horse Regiment, and like many of his fellow museum members, he plays a pivotal role in upcoming services across Adelaide. Jeff provides support and advice to Council for its commemorations held at Smithfield Memorial Gardens on Anderson Walk in Smithfield. Here at the memorial, an overnight vigil is held the evening prior to Anzac Day, where local service groups guard the memorial until the dawn service at 6am. Other Anzac Day services in Playford include the Elizabeth RSL and the One Tree Hill Institute. Services are an opportunity to pay respect to more than 100,000 who have given their lives in service, as well as those who continue to serve in all wars, conflicts and peacekeeping operations across the world. You only have to open your eyes that we've got to do a lot more and support them and, and, and acknowledge their service and that they know that the general public is aware but we've got to acknowledge what's taken place in the past and we've also a terrible thing to say but we've also got to be prepared and be vigil what's going in the future. The National Military Vehicle Museum is one of those locations that ensure a part of South Australia's military history is preserved. The museum's collection, maintained by volunteers, contains up to 60 military vehicles. Preserving military vehicles honours the past. It's not about glorifying war but it gives people a better understanding that, like when we use these uh, vehicles on parades. It brings back, um, obviously, some of the people's memories that might have operated these vehicles, but it adds life to, just to, if you just had, a, um, had them in a static dormant side, just seeing these vehicles running and putting them in, it brings, listening to, especially some of them with the larger motors, it brings back a, a, a flush of memories to some of the people, but it also honours what, what took place, what went, happened with these vehicles in operation. It's another part of the story. For veteran Jeffrey Tun Tin, the museum is a place to restore the vehicle he once drove in the Vietnam War. Jeffrey served for the Australian Army for 27 years and completed two tours of Vietnam on the AMB Squadron 3rd Cavalry Regiment in 1968-69 and 1971. This is an M113A1 armoured personnel carrier. It was the armoured workforce in Vietnam. It did everything. It's, it's something interesting to do and plus I have contact with some very nice people around here. But I'm uh, almost finished uh, modifying this vehicle to look like my vehicle in Vietnam. It keeps our military history alive and uh, you know, it also uh, is an opportunity for, for veterans and people that have an interest in military vehicles uh, to spend some time doing something that they like. For the, for the boys to gather around and we have some women that serve here too, it's very good therapy. It's like a super um, man shed on steroids really, I can put it that way. The National Military Vehicle Museum hold and support various events and educational activities throughout the year. For further information on the museum, visit military-vehicle-museum.org.au and to find a local Anzac commemoration near you, visit playford.sa.gov.au forward slash Anzac Day.